Hi, folks. This is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. I want to reflect on something that I just found out about. But nationally, November is Native American Heritage Month. And I think this is something that's important to talk about. I know that uh, probably as you're listening to this, it's now December. But in November, honoring what Native Americans have done for our environment, the studies and the, the just the very nature of what they believe in, they... They look at the earth around us as their mother earth. They look at all the things as blessings that, and they want to protect them and they want to honor them. And that's what I really wanted to talk about. You know, my life in fishing through all the years has been made so much richer and more amazing through the help of Native American people. And I'm talking not just about here where we live and the Mohawks and the friends that I've made there and the incredible fishing that is made available to me and the, the ways that I was able to share that through TV shows that I wouldn't have had without the Native American friendship, the skill, the history, and how they look at life. But let me take it to a, a broader scale. Through my other experiences around the country, it was Native Americans whether they be Cree or down in Oklahoma or Cherokee or whatever, whatever local uh, tribe that they belong to, what they taught me about fishing was absolutely amazing. I remember being out in Reindeer Lake and the Native American that was going to be our guide, his English name was George Sinclair. And George took me to places that I couldn't even believe. And and we all sort of bonded together there. I remember an incident where his sister had gone missing. And all the people that were staying at the lodge, forget about fishing, we all banded together. We got in boats and we went looking for George's sister. And we found her and her kids that were sort of abandoned on an island because the storm had come up and had taken their boat away. But my point is, they became so much a part of my life. I remember going up in in the Arctic and with the Inuit and how they shared so much with me that, that, that made me feel not only humbled and blessed, but also gave me a much greater understanding of how the land around us plays such a role in the goodness or the, the, the magnitude of our life. And so this is a great time to honor what the Native Americans have done. The New York State DC, DEC looks very, very fondly towards the, the, the economic studies, the environmental studies that have been done uh, in, Aquas- in Aquasasne by the Mohawk Nation. It's just a small example. Museums that have been set up to honor our Native American friends, and they, it's what they are to me, some of my greatest friends. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.